Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. So let's get started. First, go to the website kali.org, which you can see in the uh, in the screen right now. Then you'll have to go to the download section and download Kali. So here you'll see lots of options to download Kali Linux. You can use um, for this installation. I'll be using the first option, Kali Linux 64-bit. 64-bit. Uh, you see, have uh, you have a lot of other options like uh, Kali Linux 64 Made XFCE. So they are all uh, they are all the uh, uh, they all have a Kali Linux with a different uh, desktop environment. So for this installation, I'll be using the first one. So I would recommend downloading it through torrent because that's fast and uh, and it's it's more flexible. So I have already downloaded the torrent. Uh, sorry, uh, I've already downloaded Kali Linux and let's have, head over to uh, VMware Workstation which I've already opened. So here uh, click on create new virtual machine and then uh, you'll see uh, uh, welcome to the new virtual machine wizard pop-up. So select the typical which is good. Next, then here have here you'll have to select the, um, the disk image for this and then uh, we'll, have, we'll, we'll browse to the download location. The downloaded file is Kali Linux 2016.2 amd64.iso. So we'll select that. Click on open. Here you'll see that uh, it does not automatically detect the OS, which uh, VM Workstation uh, always does. So no problem. Uh, we'll fix this in the next step. Go next. Now in this we'll have to choose the, the guest operating system. So we'll be choosing Linux and uh, please choose Debian 7. Don't use uh, Debian 8. Because in Debian 8, um, full screen mode doesn't work properly. So if you have installed, if you have downloaded 62-bit version of Kali Linux, then choose uh, Debian 7.x 64-bit. I mean 32-bit. Since I have downloaded 64-bit, I'll be using 7x 64-bit. Then click next. Now you can choose anything. I mean uh, any any name for the uh, virtual machine that we'll be creating. So let's uh, in this for this tutorial, um, I'll be choosing Kali Linux. Kali Linux and then you can leave the location as it is the default one if you want you can you can change it by clicking on browse and then selecting the folder you want to uh, you want all the the VM files to be placed so but uh, default location is good then click on next now in this case uh, we'll have to specify the disk space so by default it's 20 GB that's good enough and then make sure that you have selected uh, split multiple disk into multiple files which is the which is the standard practice then click next. Now you can customize the hardware. So for this installation, uh, I would go and select uh, 2 GB RAM. And then for processor, I'll be choosing number of processors one and number of uh, cores per processor would be two. Close and then finish. Now you'll see that the process starts. So we'll have to uh, power on the virtual machine and wait for the process to begin. Now in this case, we'll be choosing the graphical install. You see lots of options, but uh, we'll be choosing graphical install. Now you'll have to select the language. From In my case, it's English. So I would continue. Uh, I would select continue. Then you'll have to select your location. So in this case, I would uh, uh, I would let it be as, as United States. You can choose anything. Anything, not anything. I mean, you'll have to select your country where you are in. So this actually helps you to configure configure your time time zone. So click continue. Then you can uh, choose the the keyboard map. That is the default keyboard setup. So I'll be using American English, which is the default one. You can choose any of the uh, any of the options available. Click continue, and then uh, the process, and then it would start to detect the hardware. Let the process go on. Now we'll have to configure the network. For this, we'll have to give the host name of the uh, of the of the uh, of the uh, virtual machine. So since we are uh, setting this up on the on the VMware, so we can give any name. So I have given I have given Kali here. So you can choose anything. Then click on continue. Then you'll have to give the domain name. So domain name can be anything since it's a virtual machine and we and we won't be connecting it to any corporate network. 
so yeah, let's choose uh, example dot com you can choose anything you want and then again continue now by default uh, Linux I mean uh, Kali Linux creates a user called root for for the root user you have to you'll have to give the password so in this case I'll be uh, typing me uh, typing my password you can choose you can select any password you want then continue now this is what I was talking about configuring the time zone so based on your location you will see time zones so here uh, since I had selected uh, uh, United States I will be choosing Eastern which is the default one so and continue now in this in this uh, dialog box you see uh, you have you you'll be asked how you would want to partition your disk so choose guided use entire disk this is the best option and then continue now again you will be you will have to select the disk partition you have one option which is uh, vmware virtual so select this which is already selected then continue now again again you'll have to uh, you'll have to um, define the scheme here how you want the the um, the part the part the partitioning to happen so in this case um, the first one all files in one partition which is the rec recommended one is good is good and we'll be selecting that and continue now this is the final overview so um, select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and then continue now you have the now you see the um, the the complete uh, scheme for partitioning disk so now it's asking you if you want to write the changes we'll go for yes and then continue the process of installation actually begins now now here you'll have to configure the uh, the package manager so in this case uh, uh, select yes and continue the, what it's asking is that if you want to um, select a network mirror so normally I select yes so you can also select no and then proceed so in this case we'll be selecting yes and then continue as for HTTP proxy we can leave this blank this is not required for uh, for the VM installation and then continue Now here we'll have to select if you want to install the Grub bootloader. So select yes and then continue. Then we'll have to select the device. So we'll choose the dev slash SDA and continue. Now you see that the uh, installation is completed. So uh, click on continue for the remote for the remaining process to complete. The system will restart and then we'll see the login screen. Now this is the uh, desktop. So now if I try to move to full screen mode, I won't be able to do it. So now this, the resolution is set to 800 by 600 pixels. So now to fix this, we'll have to install the VMware tools. Now one option is to install it through the VMware itself, which is uh, click on VM and then install VMware tools. And once you click install, you will see an icon will be placed on your desktop for VM tools or if you don't see just go to places
now you see the VMware tools um, icon, the disk, is, disk has been inserted, but I don't normally prefer this way because um, it, it requires extracting the files. The best way is to install the open uh, VMware tools, the um, Kali Linux desktop. Now let's install the VMware tools. Open up terminal and then type sudo apt hyphen get install open hyphen vm hyphen tools hyphen desktop hyphen fuse fuse sorry there is a typo there so it's it should be apt press yes to continue and uh, let this process complete. So once this process gets completed, uh, VMM, VMware tools would be installed. Another way is to install the VMware tools directly from the VM itself. So VMware uh, install, you'll see, um, uh, you'll see install VMware tools option here. So normally I don't prefer this. I prefer this online, online method because it's easy. Easy and then it doesn't require much step. So in case if you guys are wondering how to do it uh, from, from the VMware, uh, I'll show you that also, but um, right now let this process complete. But, uh, so, okay, so no problem, let, let me minimize the screen. So what we have to do, we have to mount this, uh, we have to open this um, uh, folder. I mean the uh, the v VMware tools, uh, I mean this is this is actually a disk which has been mounted on uh, on on the uh, on on the Kali Linux, so let's copy this uh, tar .gz file. So we'll have to copy it here and then paste it, and then we'll have to extract this file. So let's open with Archive Manager, and then uh, let's extract this file. Extract it. Um, so let's extract it to our desktop itself. Then click Extract. Now you see uh, a desktop, uh, a folder would be would be created on on your desktop. So this is the folder. So inside this folder, you see this file vm vmware install.pl. So we'll have to execute this file. So the command to execute that file is. Uh, Let's see if the installation process is completed or not. It, it's still going on. So let's open up another terminal, new window. And then the process is to, uh, let's go to the, um, to our, uh, our desktop. So ls, so cd desktop, and then cd vm, vm tools distribute. So here what we have to execute the command is sudo. Um, let's check the, uh, the files first directory. So here you see this VMware install.pl. So we have, so we'll have to execute this file. For that, we have what we have to do is sudo VMware tools install.pl. So and then dash d. So this would accept all the default parameters. And then once you uh, uh, press enter, the process would begin. And then let the process complete for each and every step you'll have to uh, enter yes and then let the process complete so even this way we can actually uh, install vmware tools so i'm not going to do this because uh, already another installation is actually going on so we'll let that complete so both the process gives you the same result now you see that the process is complete so let's check the version number of the uh, vmware installed uh, the now let's check the version of the the VM, VMware tools installed. So for that we'll see we'll we'll have to enter the command um, VMware hyphen tools hyphen cmd dash v. Sorry, the the command is vmware toolbox hyphen cmd dash v so now you see the version number so this means that vmware tools has actually got installed so now what you have to do is to restart restart the system so once you restart it 
you can uh, see the see this uh, screen in full screen mode so normally we can we can change it uh, through settings also so applications and then uh, once you go down we can see settings So here, before VMware tools, or yeah, or normally, I did not see my default uh, uh, res resolution, which was 1920 by 1080 pixels. So after restarting it, we can see this here. So if you try to change the resolution from here without installing VMware tools, you won't be getting the optimal size. So what I recommend is that install VMware tools. That is the most efficient way. So let's start restart the VM. Now log in again. Now you see this actually automatically scales to the full screen mode. So that's it guys. This is this is the latest uh, Linux Kali. So hope you like my video. Thanks for watching.